everybody. It's Mark Russian at markrushin.com. It is Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. And this video is called Spotify for Artists. Customer service is almost pointless. Yeah, I'm going to go on a little, little bit of a rant today. It's kind of like the other rants. What is it with this customer service, man? You know, especially when I'm providing content for your service and I'm pointing out the problem and I'm trying to be proactive, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I've worked in tech for the last, what, 30 years and I like the, the, solving problems is kind of part of my day job, right? Solving those tech issues, finding them, solving them, at least raising the issue. So when I get pushback from these front level customer support people that are paid I, probably a pittance, it, it just rankles me. What can I say? So what happened was, and this happened for the second time today in the last two weeks or so, maybe 10 days, I'm not quite sure. So if you're an artist and you uh, release music on digital distribution services and you are signed up with Spotify for Artists, then when you have a release scheduled in the future, that release will eventually show up on Spotify for Artists and you will have the ability to pitch a track, write a pitch for a track that is sent on to the curation team for Spotify for Artists. It's a wonderful service. It's a really excellent service. And if you're a musician, you're a publishing musician and you don't do it, that, that's your fault. You're missing out. And uh, at least from the uh, standpoint of writing pitches, when you write pitches, you should always save them. So if one is successful, go back and take a look at it. Try to get better with it. Try to understand what Spotify wants in a pitch. You know, the who, what, where, why, how, when, all that sort of stuff. And within 500 characters, of course. You have to get very, very good at this over a period of time. You, you're, you're probably not going to have lightning in a bottle the first time you write a pitch and send it on. and every, you, 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 it's, it's, like, it's almost kind of like grant writing, which is kind of a nightmare. I've done that before. I've had some success with that. Um, and, and other things, but, um, yeah. So what happened with me the last couple of weeks here was one of the artists name that I publish under suddenly had a thing called, had a, had a listing in the uh, Spotify for artists says pitch a song. And I'm like, I haven't scheduled anything for release. What is this? And, um, so I clicked on the pitch of song and it's a completely different release, not by the artist, not by the artist that I publish under. It's not even the same name of the artist, right? And that's kind of key here. And uh, two, oh, it was 10 days, two weeks ago, I contacted the Spotify for Artist Customer Service and they said, uh, oh, we will remove this. We will remove the thing. It, it might be another day or two here before it completely disappears. But but uh, sorry about that. Not a problem. That's fine. That's fine. First time. I understand sometimes things happen. You know, it's after the first of the year here. New software is probably installed. Who knows? Who knows what's going on in the behind the scenes? You know, batch loading and data and all that. So did it get... Did it, is everything synced up properly? Oh, I know about, I know a few things about this. I don't, <clears throat> I don't program it, but I, uh, I test the programs. That's sort of kind of what I do with, uh, you know, uh, with the side hustle here, right. And the day job and just, you know, walking through life and seeing all these errors everywhere. Uh, so anyway, uh, it happened again today. It was a complete, it was a different artist. And I was like, I don't think, because I have a little thing here in my Microsoft OneNote. It's called Release Dates. And it's a, it's a list of everything that I have scheduled out, the artist name, the release, and the usually like the service and the release date. I was, I, I'm somewhat organized here. And I was like, ah, that artist, yeah, they haven't released anything since last year. And there's nothing on the on the uh, 
on the docket on the uh, schedule for the next couple of months here. And I'm just like, what's this? Is this again? I click through pitch, pitch a song. And it was something completely different. I'm like, God, two times. This is a problem. Definitely a problem. So again, I contacted Spotify for artists, customer service, and they get, they get, they get back to you really quick. I will say that they get back to you really quick. Every single time you reply though, you get somebody else's name at the bottom. So I don't know whether, is that true? I, and then it's written like a robotic, like you just, it's almost, they're picking and choosing sentences, paragraphs and stuff like that. And I made a point this time to say, you know what? This is the second time this has happened in 10 to 14 days. Uh, if you want, I can provide you a screenshot. This is the name of the 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 album and everything like that. And they get back to me and they're like, and I was like, what, what's, what's going on here? Is it you guys? Is it the distributor? What is it? And they got back to me and they said essentially like, uh, well, the, uh, it happens every now and then sometimes the, uh, uh, somebody out there releases something under your same artist name. And I'm like, uh, I, I can see it's as obvious as snow that the releasing artist whose name is on the, on the album is not the same as the one that's in my uh, label roster here with the uh, Spotify for artists. And so it's like. Oh, great. You're lying to me. What is this? What Am I dealing with a chat bot or something like that? I just, what is this? This is unnecessary, right? And see, my whole thing is just like, well, just get it out of the way. But then, you know, I have a conscience and, and, and I'm like, I, this is somebody else might not be able to make their pitch or whatever, like, right. Or, or what if my releases go under somebody else's account, right? So let's just, let's, let's open up the hood. Okay, Larry, let's open up the hood. Take a look at this here engine, right? That's what you need to do. And uh, these, again, the, the fr- front line, first level customer support at Spotify for artists, they just, uh, I was like, they, they crossed the line there. And anyway, I replied back and I said, I said, well, the last two artists that th- that this has gone on on my account, they both had releases under CD Baby, single releases under CD Baby, and also some releases under Sounddrop. And CD Baby and Sounddrop are like they're like sister companies. And uh, so I was just like, um, it it must be one of those two you know, kind of like DNO or whatever like that. And they get back to me again, very quickly. That's very nice. But what they said in, in, in this reply just, just lit me up. And it was just like, well, we cannot, we cannot divulge uh, who the artist was distributed under blah, 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 blah. It's the crown jewels. It's the, it's the, it's the launch codes. It's the, right. It's just a proprietary information. Like, well, how did they get on my, and I'm, of course, I'm sitting there thinking like these guys who are answering these questions, they're probably in an apartment somewhere, you know, trying to earn a little bit of a hustle and they got to knock these things out quick or they're not going to get paid anything. Or maybe they're overseas, you know, my name, hello, my name is Steve. Right. And they, they can barely speak English. Like, I don't think your name is Steve. Right. So anyway, I, it, it was just like, <clears throat> This this is the tact you're going to give me? Oh, we're not going to tell you who it is? And it's like, okay, I'll tell you what. I'll find out who it is. I will, I will do the heavy lifting. I will try to solve the problem if there is a problem with the distributor. So I went and crafted a very, very nice email. We'll put my name on it, my label, my address, my mobile number, email, everything. And I was just like, uh, and I've saved it off here, but it was just like, listen, here's the problem. And I don't know whether it's a problem on Soundrop or CD Baby or Spotify for Artists or somewhere along the ways, but we this needs to get solved. And so I'm opening it, you know, let me know what's going on. You, you don't have to keep me aware if it's a problem and you solved it, then that's great. 
you know, I was a little, again, I was a little bit more succinct than that, but, um, it's a, I just want to let you know, I just want to let you know, there has been a problem, a multiple times problem. And you know, we're, I, I'm a problem solver. I'm trying to be a problem solver here. I'm trying to be proactive. So anyway, that's off. And those people are off till Monday and uh, no big deal, right? It's, it's no, it's no, it's no problem really. But the problem is that the Spotify for artists, customer service, you know, what I say here, Spotify for artists, customer service is almost pointless, right? When they sit there and they tell you that, oh, it, it, they have the same artist name as you. No, no they don't. Well, we, we can't tell you who it is, who's distributing that artist. And I'm just like, hey, man, what, huh? Maybe I get that, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe you could have said it a little bit more tactfully. I don't know. It's just kind of like, maybe what they should have done was been a little, hey, if you think it's a problem, contact the, dist-. and I had said, it's going to be either CD Baby or it's going to be Sound Drop. And they, maybe they should have come back and said, yeah, follow up with them, right? Because, you know, if, if these distributors are, they're all smaller companies they are they do handle a lot of stuff but they're not like spotify right which is probably like got a million different layers and it's all bureaucratic and the frontline customer service people i'm they're, they're obviously they're probably not employees they're probably barely even contractors they may not even be americans who knows right i have no idea but i i can imagine that the techies and the executives and and the, the curators, they're all in different silos. I, I it smells just like that, right? It just smells like a big bureaucratic soup nightmare swamp, right? So uh, I don't know. I just uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go because I've had so many I've had so many good wins this past week, or at least I think wins this past week, and uh, so I'm not gonna let it get me down. But it's just like. You guys, you guys got some obvious tech problems. Let's 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 get everybody in the room here together eventually, and let's let's get it figured out here because it's obvious. It's not just affecting me; it's affecting other artists. And you know, you try to try to help try to help other people out. That's all you can do, right? We all we all got to get along here while uh, we're on this planet, this Earth, this this uh, astral plane, right? That's right. So uh, I'm gonna go off and. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get the uh, I'm gonna go get the uh, the lap steel out and have some fun with it. So it's a good day for that. Talk to you later.